With the T-14 Armata State Trials set to be near completion, for the fifth time now, it will be this time, I swear. I thought it might be a good idea to show you how to destroy this tank, since it might actually see service soon, and thus, might actually be deployed somewhere, maybe to your country, or maybe to a country you want to take oil from, uh, I mean liberate. Short answer would be that you probably can't. If you're an infantryman armed with a rocket launcher, better luck next time, even Javelin will not help you with T-14. However, there is a way, but first we need to look at T-14's layers of protection in order to understand how to beat them. In this video we are going to assume that you're an infantryman, since that is much more likely scenario. T-14 Armata has three layers of protection, active, dynamic and physical. Physical protection would pretty much be the actual physical armor of the tank, so let's start from there. The front of the tank hull is protected with composite armor, sides and rear are most likely just simple steel plates like on every other main battle tank. The turret is only said to be able to sustain autocannon fire, but that is not such a big problem. If you want to know exactly why, check out my video on the topic, but the TLDR is that a hit near the main gun on any tank would damage the gun or anything close to it, rendering the firepower useless. The ammunition located under the turret in the center is isolated from both crew and engine compartment with steel walls, and thus engine is isolated from the rest and so is the crew. This means that a direct hit in ammunition will not necessarily destroy the tank, but it depends from the hit and if the ammunition explodes or not. It should also be noted that the interior of the tank is full of extremely fast automatic fire extinguishers, like on the majority of the most modern tanks. One part of the sides, the engine compartment, is covered with cage or slat armor, which only has a chance to neutralize incoming rockets or missiles, but the more modern the missile or rocket is, the less likely it is to actually affect it. Now, the dynamic protection is composed of several different types of explosive reactive armor. ERA, nicknamed Monolith, previously believed to be called Malachit, is located at least on the front of the hull. The actual performance of this ERA is unknown, but it is speculated that its increased length over its predecessors will substantially improve its performance against both APFSDS and heat. The roof of both turret and the front hull is covered with an unknown ERA. The sides are covered with what appears to be 4S24 ERA, which is designed specifically to deal against hollow charge ammunition, but it could also very well not be that ERA, since I'm only speculating because of its size. You see, it has always been the case, since Contact 5 appeared, that the ERA that can affect both APFSDS and heat is mounted on the sides of the vehicle. It would kind of be stupid to heavily protect the very front of the vehicle, but leave the sides extremely vulnerable to APFSDS projectiles, since a hit with even an all the APFSDS from a 30 degree angle would penetrate the sides of T14 if it's equipped with 4S24, since this ERA can barely affect kinetic penetrators. What is more likely to be the case is another type of ERA that can affect both APFSDS and heat. In any case, you're not going through that with a rocket launcher, or even a missile launcher, especially because of the third layer, the active protection system. Active protection system of T14 is composed of both hard kill and soft kill elements. Hard kill elements are meant to intercept incoming threats. In this case, it has several launch tubes located on the sides of the turret, five on each side, which cover the frontal 180 degrees of the tank. Once a rocket is fired, it is detected by the system, and an interceptor is launched from the tube, which then destroys the incoming rocket or a missile. It has been mentioned several times that this system might be able to intercept APFSDS projectiles, which is not entirely impossible since we've seen such systems already developed, but it would, just like those other systems, only degrade their penetration, not completely stop them. If a threat is launched outside of the 180 degree area, the turret is automatically turned to engage the threat. Another problem with this system, on top of not covering the entire 360 degrees, is that since the launchers are on the turret sides pointing sideways, they can't engage top attack missiles. Now the soft kill part has two sensors, laser and ultraviolet. The laser sensors detect if the tank is painted by a laser, 
like a laser rangefinder from an enemy tank or a beam riding missile. The UV sensors detect the ultraviolet signature of a missile. Now we get to the part on why Javelin would be useless against T14. Javelin uses a thermal signature of a vehicle to lock onto it. This signature is then sent to the missile, which is then fired, and when it starts descending, looks for that thermal signature and follows it until it hits it. Now, if T14 is engaged with Javelin, the UV sensor will almost certainly detect the missile because it's launched upwards and will go out of any cover that would otherwise obstruct the view to it. Once it's in the air and picked up by the UV sensor, the IR smoke screen is launched from both front-facing launchers, which can rotate, and the launcher situated on top of the turret facing upwards, which can only be seen from the top view of the tank. This IR smoke will completely obscure the thermal signature of T14, and make it impossible for the missile to find the thermal signature it's locked on, completely losing its target and missing. So now that we know all of this, how can you actually destroy it as an infantryman? Well, I would say that the only way would be the TV guided missiles, such as Spike LR. Spike LR is a top attack missile which gives the TV manual guiding ability to the operator, giving him ability to manually guide the missile to the target. This is extremely tricky though, because the missile will also be picked up, just like Javelin, and the countermeasures will be launched, completely masking the vehicle and the area around it. This can be very problematic, because you won't see the vehicle until the missile starts ascending, but by that time the countermeasures would have already been launched, so you would need to guess in the general smoke area where the tank is located. And if it also moves, it would be extremely tricky to hit it, but there is a chance that you would hit it unlike with any other weapon. Now, how likely are you going to be operating that expensive piece of weaponry? I would also say not very likely. Your last option would be to ambush the tank and wait until the rear is facing you and shoot the engine with the rocket launcher, because if you're close enough, the rocket could reach the tank before the turret has any time to turn and engage the threat. But that would not destroy the tank, so you better get the hell away from there as soon as possible. It would be good if we had the exact turret rotation speed of T14, then we could calculate the furthest distance you could be to directly engage it from the back, but sadly that information is still classified. Another thing you could do is engage a tank with a rocket launcher from the top of a tall building or a tree in a forest. Since the hard kill system doesn't engage the threats coming from the top, you could try and do some damage, but remember that the crew compartment and the turret are protected with ERA on the roof, so you might want to shoot at the engine again. So yeah, T14 is a really tough nut to crack, with its ability to intercept missiles, counter even the famous javelin, and tough ERA and armor protection, it sure is scary. But where there is a will, there is a way, and nothing is completely immune, not even the T14. Good luck to you and I hope you learned something new. If you liked my content, you can support me on Patreon. If you can't, leave a like or sub to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.